on the house. Light up a couple of them torches. Come on. Mrs. Canby, you sure got all our sympathy. But why should anybody want to harm us? We are not peaceable people. I'll tell you why. Because cattlemen hate farmers. They hate us because we make 40 acres support a dozen people instead of one cow. There's only one thing left for us to do if we want to stay here, and that's to fight. Easy, son. We've got as much right here as anybody. It's government land, the cattlemen don't own it. What makes you so sure the cattlemen had anything to do with this, son? Who else would want to drive us out? Yes, who wants to drive us out? Unless your investigation is getting out of control. I want you all to be quiet until I finish asking questions to the witnesses. Now, is there anybody here who recognized the perpetrators of this dastardly deed? I recognize one of them. How could you recognize him in the dark? It was dark when it happened, wasn't it? Farmers can see better in the dark than most folks. I know a farmer can't see his hand before his eyes. A fellow by the name of Donaldson right up here. What's his name, Frank? Go ahead, tell him his name like you told me. Jet Younger. We want to swear out a warrant for the arrest of Jet Younger. Thank you, Emily. Come again. Two boxes of 45, Sherry. They found out who it was. Jet Young. But it didn't happen in town. It's a county matter. Why do you have to get mixed up in it, Dan? Somebody in town sent Jet Young to burn out those homesteaders. Somebody in town ought to do something about it. I don't suppose it would make any difference if I asked you not to go. No. I thought you'd be in. How'd you figure that one? Younger and fair add up. For what? Two to one against you. Oh, sit down. I sent word to Bravo that, as far as I'm concerned, I want Jed Younger brought in. 
sent for you, Dan, because I heard you might give up marshalling. Did say something about it. I could use a man. Always figured I could land a job with you, Charlie. How soon you plan to quit? Well, now, that depends. Have you got the final figures yet, Charlie? Just about. Oh, uh, meet my new partner, Dan. I told you I was going to take root here. From now on, I own the show in the pride. But uh, you'd be working for me, Dan. Now, remember. Oh, uh, good luck. Anything wrong? I'm not sure. Hello, Dan. Don't tell me you won an afternoon game. Yeah, I'm just looking for Bravo. Hearing over? What oh, hearing? Oh, that, uh, yeah, that's all over. I got a warrant for Jet right there in my coat pocket. Leaving soon? Soon to get 440 back. Why? Thought you might need a little help. Well, how do you like that? See, I'll have him back here in jail before he knows what time it is. Play, Annie, you're holding up justice. Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Something right funny about this. What's funny? Your enthusiasm. Jet's a killer. Well, what do you think I am, a bumblebee? You've got everything but the sting. Anyway, you won't mind my going along with you, Bravo. I certainly would mind. What do you want to meddle into something it don't concern you for? That's what I want to know. Did Charlie send you to ask me that, or are you interested in my well-being? I'm interested in my business. And I'm interested in getting this game finished so I can get started. Play, Annie. Eight of diamonds. Why are you going on this manhunt with Bravo? Always help a fellow officer of the law. That's not your reason. Maybe I'd just like to ride up in the hills, away from people. I'll be waiting at your office, Bravo. Eight of spades. Nine of spades. Ten of spades. Jack of spades. Queen of spades. King of spades. Oh, shucks. Where are you going, Rita? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. best of your ability as deputy sheriff. Dan, you want it inside. Me? Mm-hmm. Rita. Dan, I want to say goodbye. Well. Wow. Don't say anything. Just put your arms around me and hold me. Sure. You big idiot! Oh. Oh. Open this door! Take care of yourself, Rita. I'll pick up that holding business when I get back. Dan, you will let me out of here! Oh! Good idea, George, but it didn't work. Let her out in ten minutes. You ready, Dan? Come in, Bravo. Use a little help around here. You got three deputies. What more you want? Had three deputies. Pulled out on us last night. You mean them polecats I tailed it? About 3 a.m. They didn't make too much noise. I went right back to sleep. If you've seen them go, why don't you stop them? Couldn't have been much use to us. Parts weren't in it. Maybe you and me better get out of here, too. Ain't much two of us can do. Well, it takes one man to catch Jet. (laughs) 
Last night, before I went to sleep, I did a lot of thinking. Not more. Oh, Jet Younger. This fire. How far it could be seen from up in the hills. What are you trying to say, Dan? That if the idea of this expedition was to warn Jed we were coming so he could hold up and stay out of our way, this is the proper place to build a fire. Shucks. You're just jumping at conclusions. Maybe so. And the first one is that Jed is probably where he can see this fire. Makes for a member there's an old line shack up there. Be a comfortable hideout. I'll look here, Dan. You better mix up you... some biscuits, Bravo. But you... Figure we better be on our way. Which way? I think we'll turn back towards town, look up them deputies first thing. What about the line shack? Now, Dan, I'm in charge of this party, and I say we go the other way. I think I'll take a ride toward the line shack. You sure are a stubborn critter. I didn't hurt you, did it, Dan? I did it for your own good, son. I couldn't stand to see you get yourself shot up. Well, what do we care about them homesteaders, or Jed Younger, or anybody? You all right, Dan? I'd rather take in the conk on my own head, son. There's no sense in a man being so stubborn. I'll be back tonight to let you loose. The rest will do you good. Now don't you go and make me look for you. You stay right here. Get out of here. Any drinking water? Yeah, plenty of it in the well. But you and your friend come on up the house. He ain't no friend of mine. He 